What's up, what's up everybody, this is Jay and welcome to another week of the Jay Mo Show. What's up, this is Jay, I appreciate you all for stopping by. Thanks for joining me, I know it's been a lot. Everybody is maybe tired of being cooped up in the quarantine, but hey, people like myself and others producing content, try to keep people interested, entertained. Hopefully the time doesn't go by, you know, as slow. So anyway, um, it's a lot of stuff been going on with updates to what may or may not happen as far as getting some money or whatever the case. Um, but we'll see how that all work out. Um, in the end, we all just got to protect ourselves and look out for one another and don't let it, you know, divide us and get people into, you know, worse situations. Anyway, now that the show is kicked off, I'm going to say what's up to some of the people that's chiming in, support gaming, what's up brother, how you doing, Whitney, what's up sis, how you doing, thanks for stopping by. You check out Insecure yet? Ray Negron, what's poppin', bro? What's up? What's good, man? How you feeling? What's up? Yeah, I did a video on Insecure. They're back. They took time off last year. I guess a lot of them, their careers have been blowing up. They all have done movies and other things. So, but now they're back to, I guess, maybe try to finish what they started. I doubt it may be a fifth or a sixth season just because they probably don't have the time and got other things. But nevertheless, it's still interesting to see the drama that they got going on now that they're 30 years old. Um, it's interesting to see they trying to get grown, but at the same time still got issues. Molly, she's so fake. <laughs> she a trip. Uh, you know, anyway, Malik, Kimani, Masai, what's up? Evening, what's up? How you doing? Support Gaming, there's a bot named Todd Tim Tom. It's a scam bot. Uh, okay, well, thanks for letting me know, Support Gaming. I appreciate it. Um, as far as that bot and stuff, uh, I mean, I appreciate you letting me know, but I'm not about to do anything with it, with anybody really like that so but hey it's always good the more information you know the better so thanks i keep that in mind um alanister pays his debt hello we'll just say teddy riley and babyface <laughs> teddy riley and babyface i know that's right uh yeah it's gonna be pretty interesting on Teddy Riley and Baby. Wait, what are you talking about on Teddy Riley and Babyface? The show? I know they singers or whatever they had going on, but I'm saying, what? What do you mean, Teddy Riley and Babyface? You got me lost. I got a brain freeze right here. I mean, what's up? What you? That's what you got on your playlist, or is it something I'm missing? Let me know, uh, sis, what's up with that? Um, so what's up? What shows are people watching? What is everybody doing to help pass the time right now with, uh, what's going on? Um, everybody got to deal with all this stuff going on. Let me see. All right. So, um... Right now, tonight, are oh, you saying Ray Negron an idea for what's the idea, man? One thing I was thinking about is that uh Michael Jordan Michael Jordan documentary I was thinking about covering too. Um that's gonna be pretty interesting and then by me being at that time a big Bulls fan in the city. I remember that time I was in my 20s. Um, that would be, yeah, I really like that. I remember that a lot. I was 
I was frustrated that they was ending the Bulls dynasty instead of just letting them keep going. I, I didn't understand that. I think the Bulls would have probably lost around probably 2001. They would have won in 99. They would have beat the young Kobe and Shaq, but they might have lost the next one just because of age and wear and tear and everything. You know, Ray Negro, you should do a how it should have ended for the Game of Thrones, your view on it or more or less how you would have written it. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'd have to sit down and really check into it again and see what's up with that, but that's a good idea. Linus to pay his debt. They had an IG live together. Telly Riley's sound was janky. The memes are hilarious. <laughs> had to check that out. Me first. What's up, me first? How you doing? Support gaming. Kane should have been saved for book two, Ghost. As Tariq mentor, Tariq don't know much about the streets. That's a good idea. Yeah, they are gonna have to create people uh, out the blue to have to have Tariq deal with. The only time he had any dealing with anything it, with real real Negroes is when he was with brains and them. And you see how shook he was when they was gonna do something to the white lady. And you see how he was down for the count when they was pretend punched him in the stomach he didn't even punch him as hard as he could have he, he's like man sorry i hit you that hard i ain't tried to he ain't even hit him as hard as he really wanted to and Tariq was down in the corner crying holding his belly for real <laughs> so let's see me first oak oak arc you mean ozark I see that's popular on Netflix, Ozark. I'm going to have to look into Ozark. Yeah, Whitney, yeah, Ozark. Me first, you put Ozark. Ozark. I got to watch Ozark. It's all right, me first. I'm just playing with you. Mellow fellow, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? Appreciate you for stopping by. What's up? Check out Bosch. I see Bosch is uh, starting to be popular on there. Um, that guy that's playing Bosch, I liked him in a couple different movies playing, you know, other roles and stuff. He's a pretty good character actor. Um, he was good even in the small amount that he was on screen in the last Shaft movie, you know. But. Like I say, he probably was on screen a total of five minutes. <sighs> Had to wet my whistle, man. Y'all don't want me to pass out on, on live TV. Maybe y'all would. Maybe I'll start getting some viewers and stream and become where I need to be, huh? <laughs> Look at this dude. He done passed out on TV. Started tweaking out. Shaking. Twitching. That shit was funny as hell. <laughs> That's all I need, huh? Now I go to superstardom. Laughing at me, not with me. Maybe like, man, that was the funniest thing you ever did. Tweak out again. <laughs> Hey, we'll see. Uh, so, anybody looking forward to this Michael Jordan documentary or no? What about uh, anybody looking forward to uh, the shy? The shy getting ready to come out. You know, who looking forward to that? Anybody watching Westworld? If you watch Westworld, I was thinking about doing that too. But uh, Westworld, they had Marshawn Lynch and Lena Waithe in the last episode. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch, he looked like he didn't put on some poundage. But he looked like a giant next to regular people. Me first, Jay impersonate Tariq getting off the floor after getting the shit slapped out of him after continuing to disrespect ghosts. What you mean impersonate him getting up off the floor? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, me first, you funny. Tariq getting off the floor. <laughs> Why you do that to me, ghost? That shit hurt. <laughs> I'm growing my little quarantine beard. What's up, ladies? Y'all think I should cut it? I know it really don't make a difference. Ain't like I'm, uh, you know, in my male model days. <laughs> Mellow fellow, the Jordan Doc and the few can't wait. Sometimes I dream that he is me. I like Mike. If I can be like Mike, I wanna be, I wanna be like Mike. Yeah, that come on tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. I've seen a lot of stuff about Jordan through the years, and I got the books, and I was a big Jordan fan, but I wouldn't mind checking this out and see what it's talking about. I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see. Support Gaming. I heard 50 Cent was supposed to play the role of Ghost originally, but he decided to play Kanan instead. Yeah, that's, that is true, but it wasn't him. Courtney Kemp talked him out of it. Plus, he don't have the time to do a full-time show like that either with all the stuff he was doing. But, yeah, he wanted to play Ghost originally, yeah. I mean, which, of course, makes sense since he producing the show. He wanted to be the star of the show. And this was his first big thing. Now he's learned that, hey, I can still have success with the show by being the side character and be just as popular and still make the money by being the executive producer So, and still have time on my side. So now he probably don't care about it as much anymore. He'll probably just say, if I want to go and get my shine like that, I'll do a movie or something. But, yeah, he was originally supposed to be Ghost. I think the show turned out better with him not being Ghost. Because if he would have been Ghost, it would have always been some, well, that's 50 Cent, or that's a rapper, or whatever. It may have never got the legitimate, you know, appreciation that it deserved in the beginning. Now, towards the end of the show, it started to change a little, but at least in the beginning, by being him, it was really helpful. So, Ben Richardson, thank you very much, my brother, for the support right now. Um, it really mean a lot, especially what's going on right now. You say, hey, Jay, keep up the good work. Best thing on YouTube. Just trying to support, bro. Man, I appreciate that, man. That's wow. That really mean a lot, man. I, I, and I'm the best, man. That's amazing. But thank you, man. I really appreciate it. It really mean a lot. I mean, it's a lot of times I think about stop making videos or stop doing this stuff. And uh, it's people like yourself and others that, you know, keep me going. So pretty soon that'll be three years this uh, September. So I appreciate all the support. And you guys have gave me a lot of, you know, opportunities and things that I didn't think about either. Just like doing the stand-up comedy and things. So, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, Whitney Castillo, you say they were in the first episode of season three. I don't know what you was talking about now. <laughs> Support you a fan of Westworld. Yeah, that's what's up. Westworld is good. Big Mike, what do you think of that show for life? For life is pretty good. I was going to do reviews on it, but too much time has passed. Too many episodes have passed. I don't know if I'm going to still do it or not. If I do, I'm going to have to do it differently. I think after I finish with this Empire video, I'm going to do all my videos differently and uh, not put in as many uh, pictures and things. And, uh, you know, find a way to make them a little quicker. And so, uh, I see that, uh, some people don't do as much as I do, but they get more success or just as much. So, I don't know. 
what it may be, but I'm not going to do as much just so that I can do more, if that makes sense. So we'll see how it turn out, you know. <clears throat> Me first, thank you. I appreciate it uh, with your support through the super chat down below. Um, wow, I appreciate it. I appreciate you know your your comments and you know chatting with you here in the in the live chat during the videos. So um, and I appreciate your support. Me first. It actually, you think about others too. It's not just you first, and I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, me first. You like for life? You say the fact that Omari was a dapper bro helped. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I I agree. It, it helped make the show look more legit and believable because normally they want to have the white guy as the dapper, smooth businessman, and the black dude is the knucklehead that don't understand and want to go by any means but what attracted me to the show is they had it reversed and they had the black dude as the smooth dude and the white dude as the knucklehead and so i was like well that's different let me check this out and then by all the things going on through season one i was like okay this is a good show so you know it had sex drugs it just didn't have rock and roll it had hip-hop but you know it was cool Fudgy Babe, how you doing, sis? I appreciate it, Fudgy Babe. All you do, I'm glad you stopped by. Whitney, Lena and Marshawn was in Thievery, first episode of season three. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I, I missed that part. Uh, they was in the first episode of season three. But uh, I saw them in the, the episode. Well, that must be what it was that I was watching because I was watching it on HBO the other night and it was doing, you know, the marathon or whatever. So maybe that was the first episode. It was when they was walking and uh, they found out that everybody's life was pre-programmed or whatever. And so they was, uh, you know, a little salty about that. So I don't know. Was that the first episode of season three? I'm not sure. I see support gaming we almost in may and we're still in quarantine now i know that's right how many people running out of food i mean people going to the grocery store and wearing gloves and masks or spraying themselves with lysol <laughs> i don't know it's getting crazy out there and then they talking about they may stop letting people go to the grocery store so hey People need to go ahead and start stocking up now. I just got an update on my phone from the news saying that because they saying grocery store workers have been getting sick and dying across the country. So everybody better stock up now because they may start making rules where you can't. You know, my mom, where she lived, they already got all kind of rules where you can't go into the grocery store. They check your temperature only on certain days. You can go outside. I mean, where my mom lived, they got it locked down right now. Ben Richardson, so is Empire going out incomplete? No series finale? I hope not. That's messed up, man. If it does, man, I know they did this the end of the show. And the end of, you know, everything. And they probably be like, man, forget it. What the hell? Why well, go through all the trouble make one more episode and the show over with? But let's hope that it's contractual obligations or something that makes them have to do it. Because I hate for them to leave the show with the very last episode off. I mean, that's horrible. So we'll see. Especially after we see Becky on that booger sugar. More like that pound of donut. She, her nose was looking like powdered donut right there. Chocolate powdered donut. <laughs> Mellow fellow ESPN not censoring the cursing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They gonna censor it uh, later though, but they not censoring that first. Uh, I got a stiff neck, y'all. That's why I keep moving my neck. Oh, my neck hurt.
me first. Omari reminded me a lot of Stringer Bell and The Wire. Good looking bro with brains. Yeah, I mean, I, a lot of ladies, they did have, you know, an attraction with Omari, which helped in that demographic. I mean, women have the audience. So then you make them smooth and gangster and all of this. Now you got the men. So, I mean, that was a good combo. Fudgy Babe family. What's up? Mellow fellow, do you know the legend, Dr. Umar Johnson? What you mean, the legend? <laughs> He's still alive. But yeah, I know who he is. Some of the stuff he talk about be all right. Some of the stuff he talk about, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I know about Omar Johnson. You know, some like I say, some of the stuff he talk about, I like a lot. Some of the stuff, I don't know. I'm on the fence. Fudgy Babe, thank you very much for coming through with the super chat support. Thank you. You guys have really been great today. I really appreciate all your support. I mean, you guys, I may not have the biggest fan base or the most people or whatever, but I do got a great group of people that support me. And I'm really appreciative of all you guys for, you know, everything. So, thanks. I appreciate you guys. Pharaoh De Niro, what's up, brother? How you doing? Support Gaming. It looks like The Walking Dead show became real. Yeah, I mean, that's why people, they've been saying it and showing it. Predictive programming for years. You know? People didn't people just say, Oh well it's just a movie. Oh well they just joking. Yeah, well laugh not cry later. It's best to be prepared and not need than to need and don't have. Why you got a chance not, it's like the last chance. Stock up on canned goods and stuff. Make sure you got protection. And you know, it's about to get probably a lot worse before it get better. You know, in the last 20 years, a lot's been going on between 9-11 and the financial crisis of 09. And now this, you know, it's a 3 P of, of bad stuff that, that's changed the world bad. Not just locally bad, world changing bad. So, you know gotta keep it together Ben Richardson Lulu Precious is a cokehead oh lol <laughs> I said Lulu <laughs> Precious is a cokehead give me some of that powdered donut dust she been sitting there smoking snorting that other stuff she like well I mean what's another thing to snort I already snored booger sugar <laughs> they were the other stuff so she don't care Big Mike, how can I donate? Well, right at the bottom of your screen is where it's a little uh, dollar symbol. And on the dollar symbol, you can uh, click that and you're able to donate. I'll show you how it works. Hold on. Let's see. Alright, so, as you see, this is where the Super Chat is coming through, and if you look right here, Big Mike, this dollar symbol right here, if you click on this, that's how you support when you, you know, send different levels of things, then that's how you can... See, so if you want to go ahead and support me, that's the best way to go ahead and do it through the super chat. And appreciate you. Let's see. Uh, 
You got Ray Negron, oh, Fudgy Babe, you about to get out of here, it's can't stay. All right, I appreciate you for stopping by. Thanks for checking on me and stopping by with the little time you did have, I mean, wow. So thanks, Fudgy Babe, for all of that support as always. And I think I blocked the damn with my head, I blocked the, <laughs> with the super chat. Well, now nah, you can still see it a little bit. But yeah, it's the dollar symbol down below. But anyway, Big Mike, you blind? Did you find the jet? I, I showed you. <laughs> Me first, you got to bounce. All right, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm probably getting ready to cut this episode short myself. Um, seem like a lot of people is, you know, got some stuff going on, which is understandable. The Jordan documentary will be coming on soon. And so, you know, Ray Negron, you play any video games? Yeah, yeah, I play P PlayStation 4. You know, I play 2K basketball. I don't think none of y'all want none of that, though. I'm a, I'm a vet. <laughs> Pharaoh De Niro, you playing PS4? Check your channel. <laughs> I don't really watch game channels too much, but I might give you a check and see, you know, what's going on, man. Just because, you know, you support me and stuff, you know. What game you playing, Pharaoh, on your channel? You know, Druggy Isaiah, what's going on, Druggy? I ain't, I ain't seen you. I was almost was wondering what happened to you. You just saw the worst TV you ever seen in your entire life called Black AF. <laughs> I ain't heard of that. What's that about, man? Ben Richardson, bye, Fudgy and me first. I know that's right. What's up? Bye, y'all. Tahili Brown, what's going on, sis? How you doing, Tahili? Thanks for stopping by, checking on me with all this going on. Um, You know, what's going up with you? What you been watching, sis? Mellow fellow, there's no surpassing Jordan. Dude is the family feud, number one answer, best basketball player ever to go. Oh, yeah, that's facts. I mean, I watched it, you know, firsthand, and the way he played, the efficiency, everything. I mean, yeah. I think the only thing that would have eventually beat the Bulls if Jordan didn't retire was age. And there, that's the only thing that would have beat the Bulls. And I think they would have won had they stayed together. They would have won in 99. That was a short season because of the strike. And then they would have probably beat the young Lakers in 2000. And by then, they would have probably lost in probably 01 because of age and wear and tear. To Ely Brown, you need to watch Ruthless for Life and Money Heist. Okay, I'm going to check that out. Uh, for life, yeah, I done seen that. For life is cool. I got to look into it more. The first couple episodes didn't really catch me. But we'll see. Lannister, I heard Black AF was awful. <laughs> well, that's what he was saying. Druggy. I don't know what it's about. Ray Negron, my PSN is right on my, uh, on my homepage of my youtube channel is right next to it says recommended channels and it's got it right there on the right mellow fellow rashida jones is barely black on the show called black af <laughs> yeah rashida jones what i wonder what that show about uh, most of her roles she played damn near as a white woman or she dating white men or married to white men all the time. I mean, she talk white, act white, her mama white. 
You know, her daddy is Quincy Jones, so. But, you know. Rashida Jones ain't a bad actress. She mostly did comedies and stuff. I mean, she ain't the worst. But to be on a show called Black AF, I don't know. I got to see what that's about. <laughs> you know, Pharaoh De Niro, thanks, bro. You don't have to, but I play GTA, Red Dead, and other games where I just look for people to play, honestly. Oh, uh, yeah, I got Red Dead and I got GTA. I've been trying to reinstall my Red Dead, but my PlayStation won't let it reinstall. It keeps saying it's an error. And, uh... I got to do all this stuff. I looked up the error code and try this, try that, and it ain't working. And I kind of got frustrated and gave up. But I want to get my Red Dead reinstalled. So I can go in the wild, wild west. I used to live downtown. 120 Ninth Street. <laughs> wall, wall, west, wall, west, wall, west. The wall, wall, west. The wall, wall, was Druggy Isaiah, Lannister. I watched like five minutes of it and wanted to end my life. <laughs> nah, Tahili, he ain't talking about insecure. He talking about Black AF. Druggy said Black AF was horrible. Insecure is actually a pretty good show. A lot of the stuff that they talk about and topics, you know, it gets frustrating to me sometimes because I hate to see that kind of stuff. For us, you know, not necessarily like I'm appalled. I'm just saying, like, I hate to see people doing bad rather than doing good and making those mistakes. But I mean, that's life. I look back on my life, shoot, every major decision I was supposed to make, I ended up making the wrong decision. So it is what it is. Support gaming. I'm enjoying the third season of Westworld. I just hope it doesn't end up going the Game of Thrones route. Season 8 was disappointing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I would have liked to did the reviews for Westworld. Maybe I should just do a podcast and just talk and skip all the other stuff and just crank them out that way. <laughs> But uh, anyway, you know, this Westworld is pretty interesting. I'm still trying to, I'm a little confused. So is everybody in the world a robot? Like, wait a minute, what's going on? How does they have everybody's life mapped out with decisions? What is going on with that? Like, I need to rewatch it. I know I missed a couple episodes. I ain't been watching it hardcore faithfully this season like I should. Ben Richardson, I just watched Black AF, and I didn't get it. It's like blackish, but it's uncensored. Uh, so, yeah, that's what they really trying to sell is the uncensored part. Druggy, best video game ever is Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, I got that. Metal Gear always make great games. It was Metal Gear 1 was ahead of his time on Nintendo. And then the Metal Gear on PlayStation, uh, what was that? Uh, that was Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, on PlayStation 1. Yeah, that was, that was the truth. I remember when I got that. I was working at UPS and it busted open out of a box. And I thought, hmm, for me? <laughs> Hey, Mr. Thorne, what's up, brother? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by, man. You're one of my oldest, longest fans, man. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate your support. Mr. Thorne, coming through. Appreciate you, bro. Big bro. To Healy. I know Insecure was good. Checking to see if you do reviews. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna crank them out, you know, insecure. I'm wondering how this relationship with Big Draws TSA, Big Draws Galore, 
Hey, you know what I'm saying? He was full sized, hit putting a bro blowing that back out. Blow, blow. <laughs> she like it's a little too much force. <laughs> Talk about you was sweating on me. <laughs> he like that's what you get for dealing with a full side leg grow. You know what I'm saying? I'm a heavyweight. <laughs> Dude was putting in work though, wasn't he? So we'll see. She probably gonna end up trying to kick him to the curb for somebody in better shape or something. Even though he was ready to do security for free. I did security for free, and this how you treat me? I was over here doing all them positions like a Rubik's Cube, and you kicked me to the curb, girl? Come on. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> Pharaoh, yeah, I should start a podcast. Yeah, I guess so. Ben, you think so? Yeah, I think maybe I should. It'd be a lot quicker and easier for me. And I've been getting my videos, uh, you know, flagged, <sighs> which basically means, you know, is nobody gonna see it. <laughs> So, I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, maybe I will start doing that. Maybe I'll look into it. Uh, see if I can get a podcast on iTunes or something. I mean, does it cost money to start it? Is it free? What is it? I don't even know how that works. I have to look into that. Let's see. Druggy Isaiah Metal Gear Solid was like a movie. I was a shorty back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one I was talking on, on PlayStation. Was that PS1 or PS2? That was PS. That was PS2. Now that was PS1. Yeah, I used to work at UPS back then, man. But yeah, it was like a movie. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty good. Especially back in the, that time period. I remember coming to work the next day talking with my friend. We was like, dude, that game is dope. <laughs> yeah. It's support gaming. You should do an impersonation of the scene in Power Season 6 finale where Ghost attacks Tariq. <laughs> Hey, you'll be do that. <laughs> uh, let me see. Impersonation of the scene in Power Season 6 finale when Ghost attacks Tariq. I mean, what would I... <laughs> how would I do that scene by myself? What is this? <laughs> Choke Tariq. Tariq. <laughs> Perp minded, what's up? How you doing? Appreciate you for stopping by. Tahili, Jay, is it my service bad today or yours? I think it's going on on my side. It keeps having the red over here for uh, video output low. So, it's always something, you guys. I don't know what's going on. I'm not online right now. I don't think my son is. Probably knowing him, he on, on the game and computer. And surfing the internet. <laughs> on tablet and some phone or something. But, no, nah, I don't think he doing too much either, so... I don't know what's going on with it right now, but I appreciate you all for stopping by. I see that this service is, is trying to be crappy right now, so I guess I'm going to end up uh, ending this show a little sooner than normal because of uh, what's going on, so, you know. I answer these last couple questions and then 
I'm out of here, guys. I appreciate you all for sticking with me in this craziness that's going on with this damn buffering and all of the lagging. Uh, yeah, drug year keep going out. Ben Richardson, yeah, Tariq make me sick. Kids would would kill to have a father like Ghost. You right. Support gaming. Ghost was like, nigga, you look at me. Alright, you all. It looked like this damn thing is 